What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Savatech once again. And while I have talked about choosing the best coin to mine for 2017, I didn't really talk about the best coin or most profitable coin for your particular rig. So I'm going to talk about how you guys can discover that in this video coming up right after this. Welcome back. So I'm sure you guys are aware of coin wars and what to mine. If you are not, definitely check them out in the description below. I'll leave a link. And if you head on over there, you'll notice that at the top, there's actually a space where you can modify the hash rates per algorithm and the wattage per algorithm. And this is very important because every system and every different type of card and memory on that card, whether it's Micron or Samsung, is gonna react different and depending on how you overclock it, etc., is going to change the hash rates and the wattage. And you would be surprised at the discrepancy between wattage between different algorithms. It can get quite a bit different going from one algo to the next. So you're going to want to make sure you pick up a kilowatt, which I'll leave a link to in the description below and plug that up to your system. And then take a look at this to figure out what coin on your rig is most profitable. Alrighty, so to start things off, like I said, we were gonna head on over to whattomine.com and at the top you'll see that we can input the hash rate and then below that the wattage or usage for that particular algorithm all the way down the line. Now the big ones you're gonna to wanna to be paying attention to is going to be ET hash, Kryptonite, and Equihash. You are welcome to go through the rest of these depending on if maybe you already see one in the top. So I'm gonna actually go to default here and calculate let me see if we can reset this defaults please load all right so on the defaults this is fine this would be like a standard kind of if you need a quick look it'll show you know ethereum at the top and then you know uh, monero kryptonite this, these have all been kind of in this area recently so and then we got equihash down here of course but this isn't really going to be accurate for our system and let me go ahead and show you how you can figure this out. So there's a couple things you could do. The easiest way would be if you went in and downloaded the nice hash miner legacy and then in that they actually have a benchmark so you can actually run the nice hash miner and we wouldn't mine with this in particular, at least I wouldn't. And it's gonna run a query for all of your devices. Here it's gonna be a little funky because we are running the miner, so we're not gonna actually benchmark this. But if we hit benchmark, you can click the graphics card to do not select your CPU because it'll lock it down to Kryptonite only, and which is Monero, by the way. And then we'll click precise and run it. Once it's done, it'll give us the speeds here. This shows my previous speeds from a previous test with a single card in here. And as you guys can see, you know, it, we can take these numbers and then go plug them in. Now that's fine, except it's not gonna show us the power consumption at the same time. So we're gonna get a little bit more granular and this is a quickie. You can do this and kind of weed out some of the smaller coins, right? But if we really want to know what's going on, we're gonna need to set up the miner to use our entire rig. And then we're gonna need to record the power consumption and of course the hash rate. So as you can see here, the hash rate for ET hash is 186.3. So if we head back on over to what to mine, we're just gonna put that in here and then we will take a look at the kilowatt which is saying that for ET hash we're using 1100 watts. Now we'll go back to our miner of course and we will cancel out, uh, close, and I believe I had one up for Kryptonite already going. I do have to launch Nvidia and AMD separate because I have a mixed mining rig so we'll launch that and now we will just wait for them to fully compile, but let's do hash rate here is 3304. Let's say 3300 on average. We'll wait for this one to spin up on AMD. It's coming, I promise, it's coming. So 1300, let's just say 1300 plus 3300 for sake of argument. So we'll go with 4600 hash a second. 
for our sumo coin or our crypto knight so we'll go back on over and we'll take the crypto knight and change this to 4600 take a look at the kilowatt and you'll actually notice most of the time crypto knight uses quite a bit less power at least to get peak hash rate with your overclocks compared to power consumption it starts having diminishing returns after a certain rate so mine in particular in this case is pulling 900 watts the rest of these boxes if we're just wanting to compare these two we will go ahead and just clear out the hash rate we don't need to clear out clear out the power there because it'll still put this below all the rest of them now of course like i said i recommend running an equihash miner as well and so you can get the top three because those are going to be typically be the top three that you want to check and then we'll click calculate now you see most of them did stay in the same spot for the most part but you do want to just make sure that they are going to be in the same spot okay so let's go ahead and set back the defaults and check again it does look like if we take a look here it did look like to me that Ubique bumped up a little bit yeah Ubique in this case bumps up over Monero when we have these numbers input so right now I can tell you that the most profitable for my mining rig is technically Ethereum and I can tell you that any ET hash coin is going to perform better on my rig than any crypto night coin of course I would need to go through and find the equihash performance before I could make a final assumption for my particular rig but now that you guys get the idea you can go in and do it yourself alrighty so that's gonna wrap up how to find the most profitable coin for your mining rig let me know if it was helpful in the comment section below and if you have any suggestions or tips or tricks to modify this or improve upon it i thank you for watching and always thank you for all of your comments and suggestions please don't forget to hit like also hit that subscribe if you have not yet and as always i will see you next tuesday